Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room. Today we're going to be taking a look at the peppers that we have growing in the grow room right now. Now we've only got about 30 varieties, which is probably seems like a lot to some people, but that's actually a few less than I grew last year. So I'm cutting back just a little bit, um, but we've got mostly annuum peppers this year. I really cut back on the chinense varieties for a couple of reasons. So the chinense varieties are typically your hotter peppers, and I use those mainly for hot sauces and powders. And honestly, I've got enough hot sauce right now to last us probably the next three years. So I really don't need any more hot sauce. So I'm scaling back on the hot ones and sticking to annuums. We've also got a couple bacatums and a pubescens as well. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how they're doing. All right, let's start by taking a look at the two chinense varieties that I'm growing this year. We've got the Benny Highlands here. So we've got one, two, three of those guys, and they are growing much shorter, as you can see, than these other peppers. And that is pretty typical of the chinense varieties. So I think I started five of pretty much all of these varieties, and not all of them germinated. So for this one, we had three germinate, and it's looking really good so far. And then our other chinense variety is this one here. This is the sweet bubblegum red that I got from Bill Beckham, who passed away from COVID earlier this year. And that one is also doing well, but we had really bad germination on those seeds. Um, they were seeds that I saved from peppers that he sent me last year. And that is the only one that we got to germinate. Now we have one pubescence variety that I'm growing this year. This is the mini brown ricotto and it is related to the mini olive ricotto that I grew a few years ago, I think it was two years ago, and really, really enjoyed it. So I'm really looking forward to the mini brown ricotto. This is from Chris Fowler in Wales, and he's got some really great varieties. I don't think this one is available yet, so you might have to wait another year or two before he'll have that available. This is probably the one I'm most looking forward to growing this year. Um, we'll see how that one does, but so far we did have two germinate and I will be planting both of those and almost all the other varieties I'm only planting one of each and the rest will be available for sale locally. And we have five different Bacatum varieties that I'm growing this year and the first one is the Tangerine Tiger which is one of my own crosses. It was an accidental cross of the Sugar Rush Stripe and the Ahi Tangerine and I've got two variations of this. This one here is the orange and Bacatum varieties typically grow faster and taller. So you can see these are actually kind of leggy. Um, these are both the orange ones. And then I've also got some yellow ones that Susan Garza grew last year. And these are F3s. And the, you can see the yellow ones are much bigger. And I started them at the same time. But for some reason, the yellow ones are much happier than the orange ones. And then also we have a Sugar Rush Red back here, and I only got one of those to germinate. It seems to be doing okay. Um, actually, I did have one other one germinate over here. There it is. Look how tiny that is. I'm probably going to end up getting rid of this one. I started both of them at the same time, but this one just does not want to grow because it's still super tiny, so I don't think that one's going to do very well. So we'll probably just get rid of that one. We also have Criolla Sella, so that's another Bacatum that's growing kind of tall and a little bit leggy. Back there we had, I think, three of those out of five that germinated, so we'll have a couple of those available for sale. And then we have some more leggy Bacatums back here, so this is the Ahi Guyana. I haven't grown pretty much any of these varieties before. I'll let you know which ones I have grown. But this one is to replace the ahi pineapple that I was going to grow this year, but I didn't have any germinate. So I decided to grow the ahi guyana instead, which I think is a little bit similar. Um, and when I get these potted up into bigger containers, I will bury these um, up to probably there. And then more roots will grow along the stem that you plant in the soil. So I'm not too worried about these being a little bit leggy. Another cross I'm growing this year is this nice looking pepper here that is getting nice and big. This is called the Bell Room, which I got from my mom. She 
had an accidental cross in her garden of a bell pepper and a mushroom pepper. So it'll be interesting to see how that comes out. I think this is the F3. All of these larger peppers over here that I just showed you were all started around February 10th through the 17th. And all the rest of these are going to be the annuums and they were started around March 9th, I believe. So kind of middle of March. So they're still a little bit smaller, about a month behind the, the other ones I just showed you. So let's take a look at what we have here. We've got the Korean gochu, which is a variety I've been growing every year. It's my favorite pepper. And then we've got a new one that I'm trying this year is the Hong gochu. So I'm going to I want to do a comparison to see how similar it is to the one that I had been growing and it seems to be growing a little bit taller and faster than this one, but we'll see how the pods look in comparison and taste. So there are, in case you didn't know, there's a ton of different Korean gochu varieties, and I've probably tried about six or seven different ones, and I haven't found one yet that comes close to this mystery gochu that I got from Kangstar. All right, and then we've got our arbol. So this is a chili de arbol, and I haven't grown that before, or really hardly any of these guys I've, I've not grown before. So we've got a few of those. They're kind of a smaller pepper. And then we've got, let's see, Craig's Grande Jalapeno. So I just started recently getting back into growing jalapenos. It's not a variety that I've grown um, much at all in the last several years. I kind of put it on the back burner, but after making pizzas with sliced jalapenos on it, I'm growing those a lot more. So we've got a couple of jalapeno varieties in here. See, here's the other one. I've got early jalapeno. I had pretty poor germination on the early jalapeno, so I think that is the only one that I got to germinate. And then we've got shishito. That's another one that I had poor germination on. We have that one there. And we've actually got a second one here, but it, it's not getting any um, primary leaves. It's like it just came out with one cotyledon leaf, so I'm not sure that's going to actually grow. So I might have to get rid of that one. And then we've got Tequila Sunrise. That's a sweet pepper that I haven't tried before. And of course, we've got Peter Pepper. So I've been kind of considering growing this one for a long time, but I just haven't made room for it. So I decided to finally give that one a try. And these sweet tangerines here are the Chloe sweet tangerine that I grew last year that are probably the sweetest pepper that I've had. They're a really nice snacking pepper that I got from Timothy Moultrup, who grew these out for his daughter. So I am looking forward to growing those again this year and getting lots of sweet orange peppers from those. And then this last tray back here, we've got Gabby Hot Wax. So I haven't grown any hot wax peppers before, so I'm giving that one a try. We have Fushimi, which is, I believe, a Japanese variety and guajillo, a Mexican variety that I grew last year, so I'm growing that again. And we've got orange lesia. I That's the only one that I got to germinate. I think I only had three seeds of that one, um, but we've got that one there, so I'm excited for that one. Um, we've also got pasilla, which is another Mexican pepper that I grew last year, so I'm growing that one again. I think that's it for those. And then I started some late ones. These are only, gosh, maybe... 10 days old or so. Um, we've got Aconcagua, which I grew last year, one of my favorite sweet peppers. Um, so I decided to grow that one again. And then we've got Criolla di Cochina. So these are ones that are kind of replacing seeds that didn't germinate for varieties that I started before. And then we've also got Antohi Romanian and Poblano. And those two have not come up yet, so I'm not sure if they're going to. Um, but we're going to give them a little bit more time and see if they come up. And I think that covers it for all of the peppers over here. I've got one more thing to show you. So I have a tote over here that I keep my fig cuttings in. So these are all fig cuttings that I started about a week or so ago. But I've also got some cans in here. So these are my pepper in a can challenge peppers. We've got this one here, which is a marbles variety. I usually grow ornamental varieties for the pepper in a can challenge, 
So I don't think these have germinated yet. I just started these mm, maybe four or five days ago. So that's the marbles. And then we've got this one here is the mini chocolate. And I don't see anything up here. Let's check the last one. I haven't checked these in a couple days, so it's possible something might have come up. And then this one is the Count Dracula. Nope, nothing in there yet either. We do have a heat mat down on here set to about 80 degrees, so that should help them germinate a little bit faster. But nothing up yet, so maybe in another couple days we should see something come up. And I do still have the peppers over here on heat mat as well. It is starting to warm up in the grill room. It's about 70 degrees right now, but I like to keep them on this heat mat because it does get fairly cold at night still. So that is all we have in the pepper grow for the season so far. I don't think I'll be starting any more seeds, so this is probably going to be it for this season. I plan on posting at least monthly updates on the pepper grow throughout this season. So if you are into peppers, make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get to see all my pepper updates. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.